Oh, a tourist! Hi, my friend! Yeah, hi! Where do you come from? The U.S. Oh, I love the U.S. You're very good people. Very good people. The best. Uh, thanks. Uh, do you have one euro? What? Uh, why? Well, I'll tell you a sad story. I live outside of town and I need a bus ticket to go home. It costs five euros, but I only have four. So, can you help me out? I don't have any cash on me. It's okay, you can make an online transfer. Whoa, hold on there. I just wanted to ask you some questions. Questions? Uh, like what? Do you know how to get into that church? Uh, through the door? Oh, very observant, thanks. Take care. Hi, that's mine! A fancy bottle of wine. Excuse me. Renovation. Closed territory. I want to visit the church. No. I clean here. And you're doing a great job. I'll just take a quick peek inside. No. But... Go! I clean you too. You what? Hey, hey, stop it. I'm going. Ugh. Swept out like some trash by a hag with a broom. Adventurous. Here. There are construction workers inside. I can't get past them. Um, excuse me? Be blessed, child. I am looking for a key. A key? Is it your key? Well, it's not exactly my key. So, the key belongs to the church? I suppose. And you have the gall to ask me for the church key? Um... Do you know what the Eighth Commandment says? Don't steal? Thou shalt not steal. Uh, what's going on? Someone thought it would be funny to steal the sacramental wine right before the Divine Liturgy. And it seems they are not stopping at that. Wait, you think I stole the wine? Oh, no, no. Unless you did. In that case, the church is a perfect place for a confession. That's ridiculous. I, I just wanted to ask about some old key I read about, that's all. Oh, I am very sorry, my child. My mind was elsewhere. This whole stolen wine debacle is stressing me out. Please, no more questions. I have to deal with this before the liturgy starts. Well, that's a random complication. By any chance, do you know about the wine stolen from the Church of the Holy Spirit? What, what wine? I got no wine. Right. The, uh, the one I can see in your bag? Oh, that one. Yep, it belongs to the church. You see, I'm not allowed to go back into church. Oh, <gasps> no, surely you jest. I'm telling you, I took the wine so I could wash my sins away. What? What? 
That's not how it works. I found this method to be the most effective. A good blend of wine with holy water. I'm so confused. Well, isn't that how the church makes it? Mixing red wine with holy water? I mean... Uh, sure, why not? Could I persuade you to give me that wine? I'm open to other strong and holy suggestions. Uh, I'll see what I can do. How did you say that holy wine is made? By mixing red wine with holy water. Ah, yes. Thank you. Take care. Hi. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet here? Uh, who knows? Perhaps. I mean, did you text me about meeting here? Uh... Okay, I'll assume it's a no. Over here. The statue. Milda. Hello? Milda, right? Who's asking? I am behind the statue. Oh. I knew your father. Do you know where he is? I don't have much time. Someone might be listening. I have knowledge of the last person to contact your father before his disappearance. Who's the contact? Here, take this. His name is Vlad. He may provide you more information. It's a phone number. How did you... Hey, where did he go? Hello? Uh, hi. Am I speaking to Vlad? Yes. Who am I speaking to? My name is Milda Kovas. I'm calling regarding my father, Linus. Ah, yes. I was expecting this call. You were? Come to Minsk. We can talk then. Minsk? Uh, sure. I'll try to somehow get to Minsk. Let me know when you're coming. I'll give you the details. All right. I'll give you a call then. Dobra. Minsk. Okay, I need to figure out how to get there. Wine with holy water makes holy wine, right? Red wine mixed with holy water, <laughs> right. Will you take this in exchange for that wine bottle you have? Uh, what's this? Holy wine, extra holy. Mm, I don't know, it smells a bit watered down. No deal. Invisible ink, made from strong alcohol and concentrated lemon juice. After writing with it, you need to heat the paper to see what was written. Well, this makes the wine stronger. Ooh, and gives it a nice lemony smell. Will you take this in exchange for that wine bottle you have? Oh, uh, what's this? Holy wine. Extra holy, extra strong. Extra strong? Indeed, with undertones of lemon. Yes, yes, a very nice strong smell. It's a deal. Ah, uh, just take that other wine. Finally. Thank you.
Is this the wine that was stolen from you? Ah, yes. You saved me from a big embarrassment. Thank you, child. May God guide your path. Can I ask some questions now? Of course. Whatever you wish. I am looking for a key. Ah, yes. What did you want to know? I believe an architect called Johann Glaubitz might have given a key to this church. Hmm. I am sorry. I'm afraid I don't know anything about the key, my daughter. What? But I found your wine. How is that related? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I did the thing and it gave me nothing. A selfless act, my daughter. You should be proud. <sighs> I guess I'll have to find some more clues somehow. Take care. May God guide your path. Gonna lie, this is quite impressive. Hello. Yes, my daughter. Take care. May God guide your path. Let's see what it hides. It's obviously a church ornament. I should talk to the priest about this. Hello? Yes, my daughter? Did anyone try to look behind that painting with the cross? How specific. I'm surprised you'd know such a thing. During the last renovation, a compartment was indeed found behind the central painting. Was there a key in it? No, only a seal stamp. A seal stamp? Yes, the one with an emblem that's used to make an imprint in wax for letters or documents. What did the seal look like? It was a palm-sized metal disc with a handle. If I recall correctly, it had a big W on it. Thank you for the information. The priest mentioned the Chancellor's seal was shaped like a letter W. Yes, my daughter? About the seal. Yes. Where is the seal now? The last I heard, it was moved to the Vilnius University Archives for safekeeping. Thank you for the information. Yeah? The cat's gone. Probably out looking for Tuna again. Tuna? Yeah, she's a huge fan. Hence the name. Oh, poor Tuna. I get it. Where can I find the university archives? You can access them from the main square. Well, I mean, you can't, because it's for authorized personnel only, but yeah, the door's there. Never mind. Bagel, perhaps? What kind of bagels do you have? Right now, we have fresh bagels with cheese, tuna, or chicken. Would you like one? Tuna bagel, please. All right. Here you go. Anything else? That's all. Goodbye. Have a lovely day, dear.
kitty. Oh, she ran away. Got the access card. This cat seems to have found its life goal. Reminder to all my colleagues. One, stop complaining. The new security system guarantees the safety of historical artifacts. Two, stop panicking. If the gate does not open, make sure all the items are returned to the appropriate containers. Three, stop calling me. Found it. I think the printing is done. Wow, that's a great copy. I probably couldn't tell the difference. I don't think I'll be needing that anymore. Next Tuesday, a lecture about Jewish heritage in Lithuania. All are welcome. For more information, inquire inside the bagel shop. A seal with the sign of a letter W. Hi. Hello, dear. A fresh bagel, perhaps? That's all. Goodbye. Have a lovely day, dear. About this flyer. Yes. Tomorrow's organizing a public lecture about Jewish heritage next Tuesday. Is there something in particular you want to know? Will there be anything about the Great Synagogue of Vilnius? I don't know, dear, but Tamara did participate in some archaeological excavations there not that long ago. Is there a chance I could meet her earlier? I just want to ask a few quick questions. Well, she was planning to come over for lunch today. If it's only a few questions, I'm sure she'd find a few minutes to answer. What's your name, dearie? Me? Oh, um, Melda. Oh, that's a pretty name. Let me just text Tamara right now so she'll be expecting you. Great. Thank you.
miss Tamara? Please, just Tamara is fine. You must be Milda. Uh-huh. I was told you had questions about the Great Synagogue. Are there any artifacts left from the Great Synagogue? Unfortunately, most things were looted during World War II. However, in the recent excavations, we found a cellar that wasn't shown on any plan. Ooh, what did you find there? I brought a picture from the dig site if you wish to see. Yes, definitely. very similar to... Um, Tamara, can you tell me where I can find this item? Oh, not that long ago it was sold to a candlestick collector. What? Why? What do you mean? Why did you sell it? Why does it interest you so much? I think it might be something my dad was looking for. I see. Well, I can give you the man's number if you wish to contact him. Yes, please. Hello? Hi. I'm calling to ask about a candlestick. A what? The, the candlestick that was found during the excavation of the Great Synagogue of Vilnius. Oh, you've uh, got the wrong number. Uh, hello? Weird. Tamara? Yes? Thank you. That's all for now. Anytime. Quickest Journey Travel Agency. I want to go to Minsk. Minsk, Belarus. Amazing choice. Visit Victory Square and the National Arts Museum and ride the Ferris wheel at Gorky Park. We will get you there in no time. How long is no time? The trip itself takes three to four hours. You'll just have to fill in a few forms for a visa. Sure. And it will be approved within three to five work days. Is there any way to speed up the process? The faster you fill in the papers, the sooner you get the visa. Do you want the application papers? Uh, I guess. Great, here they are. You can fill them in at the table over there. Mm-hmm, thanks. I think I'm done with the form. It says here that a ticket to the hockey game could serve as a Belarus visa. I need to show this to the travel agent. I filled in the documents. We'll get back to you as soon as they're processed. 
I saw this leaflet about a hockey game. Yes, Lithuania is playing against Belarus today. It says the ticket could serve as a visa. Is that true? Absolutely. It's a special exception for international sports events. Well, can I buy a ticket then? Oh, mm, well, yes, but the bus is for the hockey fan club members only. How do I become a member? I'm not sure, but the fan club bus will be leaving soon. I don't think you'll be able to get it in time. Maybe I can pretend to be a fan? Well, it's really not me. It's the driver you'll have to convince to let you in. Do you know a lot about hockey? Nope. Do you know any players of the national team? No idea. Do you know any rules specific to hockey? No. Well, I can sell you the ticket, but I can't promise you'll be allowed on the bus. I guess you can always try saying you're going there just for the fights. That might help. I'll figure it out. One ticket, please. All right, here it is. The bus should be here any minute. All right, thanks. I suppose I'll need this to get into the bus. Mm-hmm. Is this bus going to Belarus? Correct. Great. Do you have a ticket? Yes. I can't just take your word for it. Right. Here's my ticket. Are you with the fan club? Why does it matter? This is a bus for fans. It's not for tourists. But how do you know I'm not a fan? You don't look like one. At least put a proper shirt on or something. Otherwise, everyone can get stuck at a border check because you look like a tourist. I'm a photographer. I bet everyone would love to have some pictures from the event. Sure, but there's no use for pictures if we get delayed and miss the event. Wait, can I try again? Oh, I wish you wouldn't. But I'm just here to see the players fight. Everyone's here to see the players fight. Look, I understand you're really eager, but I'm the driver of this bus and I take my job seriously. Unless you look like a member of the fan club, you're putting the whole bus at risk of delay. Simple as that. Um, can you wait a bit? I'll try to figure something out. There are still a few real fans that are late, but hurry. I won't be waiting forever. <sighs> I'll be quick. I guess it might be of use after all. No longer a flag, but a proper coat of arms. All right, this should make me look like a fan. Now to put it on and rush to the bus. Hi. Mm-hmm. What do I need to get on that bus? You need to at least look like a fan. How do I look? You look like a poor kid who asked her mom for a fancy brand shirt. But mother had no money. So she tried to make it herself. And then, when the kid went to school in mother's homemade shirt, the kid was laughed at, bullied, and called poor. All because of the twisted social dynamics that mess with our perspective on what's important in life. Uh... Can I...? Yeah. Hop on, kid. You deserve it. I should call Vlad and let him know I'm coming. Hello? I'm coming over. Today. Who is this? Uh, Melda Kovas? Oh, yes, of course. I managed to get a last-minute trip to Belarus. 
I will be arriving wherever the hockey game is happening. Oh, perfect. We'll see the game then. Meet me in the VIP lounge once you're there. VIP lounge, got it. Have a safe trip.